Hey everybody. Well, it's been a very long time since I've actually spoken to you all directly, and I do apologize, but E! News! December, hopefully we'll have January, February, March, and so forth, but right now, you get E! News December, uh, and it's coming to you live <laughs> from my living room in front of the Christmas tree, and I'm being watched very closely by my little buddy down here, Hazel, who isn't quite sure what's going on because she's never seen me do this before, talk to this computer box. <laughs> but anyway, it's a real tie. I tied it today. Not a fake one, not a clip one, not even the one that's already pre-tied. Yeah, tied it. Ow. Just for you all. But anyway, let's see what has happened. This has been a crazy, crazy, crazy year. Uh, so I guess we could call this the E! News wrap-up, even though there's not really been any news before to wrap-up. But anyway, uh, let's see. January, started with a job, got a brand new car, my little V-dub named Gustav. Gustav von... No, this is not Gustav. <coughs> this is Wolfgang. Wolfgang von Wagen. Yeah, the white one. Bing! Um, but started off a good... Um, the year well, everything was going great. Uh, end of January, lost my job. Uh, the studio closed. Um, they moved some folks to another studio. However, me being middle management, they didn't take me along for the ride. Uh, was a little bitter, to be honest. Uh, who wouldn't? Hell. But um, took it in stride, like I have everything else that's ever happened, and kind of kept going because you know you never know what's around the corner. Um, what's waiting for you, that kind of thing. So I, uh, you know, bucked up and said, okay, you got to keep going. And then at the beginning of February, my grandmother passed away. Um, she was the last surviving grandparent that I had, and that was kind of tough um, just because um, it was twofold. Uh, one, watching her decline, her health get worse, was tough to watch, especially because she was such a vibrant, spunky kind of almost stubborn woman. Uh, don't get me wrong, the stubborn part didn't go away, but um, it was tough to watch her kind of decline um, into a very frail person. Now, I wasn't there a lot because I didn't really want to see it. I'd seen enough at Christmas and before. I didn't want to see anymore. Um, so that was kind of tough to watch. And then um, the other part that was tough was... Um, you know, I didn't really get to spend a lot of time with her, and that was partly my fault, too, because I didn't want to be there. But anyway, uh, so January and February came, and you know, without a job, um, took a little vacation um, with my parents this year, which was the first time I'd vacated with the parents since I was probably 16 or 17. So that was an adventure. Um, we had a good time. We went to see um, my dad's cousin and my cousins um, down in the Ocean Isle Beach, um, area of Carolina Shores uh, near Myrtle and that was a lot of fun great to see them spend some time with them and have time with mom and dad um, and so um, was able to do a little bit of freelance work um, you know starting in May um, was able to do a little bit there um, then I started my adventure in Atlanta in July started going back and forth to Atlanta on the regular and with rooms to go um, and it was great to be in a big city and see what it offered. Um, and it was, it was nice. Um, yeah. So did that and then was offered a job with rooms to go and held off, said, um, let me go on my vacation at my birthday and come back and give you all an answer. Something was telling me to wait and I did. And I'm glad I did because during that time, I got a call from my old company, Roe. Um, they were moving their headquarters to High Point, North Carolina, and they needed someone to be graphic designer and handle a few other things like art directional photography and their PR. So, um, talked over the weekend, and on Monday, talked to my soon-to-be new boss, David, and talked with him. Tuesday, accepted the job. Wednesday, did the handshake, welcome to the club. 
And I was officially employed before I went on my vacation for my 43rd birthday in Ocean Isle Beach. Which was another great adventure because I got to go down um, my friends Marty and Robin and um, Gus and Kenny all came to visit you know, and that was nice to have friends down there and be able to celebrate my 43rd birthday with them at the beach. Um, yes, I know, it's not the beach I'd really rather be on. Maui, Maui, Maui. Even though Maui's an island, it's a big beach. Um, but I'll be back there soon, I hope. Cool. So anyway, long story short, I am now employed. Here we are, December. Um, you know, people always talk about how quickly life can change in an instant, and this is almost exactly um, what they would be talking about. I started the year unemployed. I'm ending the year employed. Um, I've come first full circle in a sense that, you know, here I am with a company that I started with, um, left there in 2006, spent almost six years with the studio getting more knowledge, and now I'm back with that company. I'm able to bring them the knowledge that I have to their company. So it's been really great. So I can't complain at all. So that's been a really good thing. Um, I did have to put Sophie down. Oh, that was, oh, I hated it. In June, um, she um, ended up with a bone cancer in her shoulder. And um, it just got really bad. And she, um, she just couldn't, I just couldn't deal with that anymore in a sense that I could see her suffering and um, not being the the greyhound that she was. So um, I had Soph put down um, and that was tough. But um, <clears throat> anyway, but I have a little, uh, another four-legged fur baby who's right down here watching me closely. Hayes, you want to come up here and be on camera? You want to come up here and be on camera? Come on. Come on. Jump up. Look, look this way. Come this way. Look, come on. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Jump. Jump. Come on. Come on. Oh. oh, we're having problems jumping today. But look, this is Hazel, everybody. Say hi, Hazel. Say hello. This is Hazel. This is my little buddy, my little fur baby buddy. She's kept me company um, for the past few months. She's a good little dog. Yes, she's a full-breaded pit bull, but she's a sweetheart, aren't you? You're a sweetheart. Yeah, acting a little camera shy right now. Yeah, tail wags all the time. If you can look down here, there's a tail wagon. But um, she's a great little dog, and I hope everybody is doing well and that life is, is treating you um, fairly. Um, just, but just keep in mind that, just like I said, things can change um, drastically in a year for good and bad um, but you know what you just kind of got to wait out because if I would have taken a job with another company I wouldn't be where I am today with a company that I can't I'm blessed and I can't believe that I'm with them so um, I'm heading into 2013 yes 2013 the world's not gonna end in you know a few weeks um, so I'm heading into 2013, um, eyes wide open and ready to start the year. So I'm going to bring back a couple things on this e-news. Um, I'm going to bring back the opening movie montage, which you've already watched technically because you're watching me now and I'm going to put it before me. <laughs> um, so there'll be the opening movie montage and then you'll have my message from me. So everybody take care of yourself, much love, and um, I'll also be posting this on the website. Um, so if you haven't um, been there for a while, you might take a look around. You might find a few surprises, some um, things there that you haven't seen. And um, yeah, so anyway, everybody take care, and we'll see you again, hopefully, at the beginning of January, New Year's. So um, happy holidays, everybody. See ya.